Hey kiddos, today we are going to make a letter drop box. Wait, what is a letter drop box? Well, let's find out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to learn a few new words. Letter. What do you think letter means? According to the Word Explorer Children's Dictionary, letter is a written mark that stands for a speech sound, specific character of an alphabet. Hmm, what is a speech sound? Let's break it down. Speech means spoken language. So what I'm doing right now, when we talk out loud. Okay, sound means anything that people or animals can hear with their ears. Okay, so if you put those two things together, then speech sound means what people or animals hear when we talk out loud. Cool, okay, so we have that definition now. Let's see, character. It's a letter or symbol used in an alphabet. Hmm, okay. Well, we know what a letter is. What's a symbol? Apparently a symbol is an object or picture that represents something else. Now I wonder, you guys are super smart. Could a letter be a symbol? What do you think? I think so. Okay, so the alphabet is the letters of a written language given in a proper order. So wait, what is another word that we know for the alphabet? You're right, the ABCs. Okay, so we have our definition. How can we take all the new words that we just learned and put them together? Let's think. Hmm, letter. Letter means a written mark that stands for what people and animals hear when we talk out loud which we know is now called a speech sound, an object or picture that comes from the ABCs, which refers to a specific character of an alphabet. Wow, good job. We just learned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new words. That's amazing. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, so now we know what that is. We have one final word that we need to learn before we make our letter drop box. Drop. What do you think drop means? Drop is a slit or opening into which something can be dropped. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so today we are making a letter drop box. Knowing what you already know and what we just learned, what do you think it's for? If you guessed that we're dropping letters into the box, you're right. We are going to use just a cardboard box, three sheets of blank paper, markers, glue, a ruler, tape, scissors, uh-oh, I seem to have misplaced my scissors. Hmm, where could they have gone? Our scissors, and I think that's it. So you need those things and an adult to help you and some quality time together. All right, so now that we have all of our materials, we're going to break it down into steps. So first, with the help of an adult, okay, I don't want you to try this by yourself, you're going to make 26 lines an inch wide, about, remember like the inchworm? About that wide and an inch apart. So again, this might be a little bit easier for a family member to help you with. But thankfully, we have a ruler which can help us. So after you've made 26 lines, 
you will have your adult take the scissors and cut them into little slots, which is part of our definition, right? So once we have those slots, then we can let the letters fall into our box. All right, so once you've done the difficult part, then you get to create. And this is the fun part. I really want you to express yourself and decorate your box however you want, okay? So you are going to work with your family member and you are going to write out each letter above each slot that you just made. That's why we have 26, because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. All right, now you will use your three strips of paper, or three pieces of paper, sorry, and you will make little letter strips. So again, an adult can help you. You are going to use your ruler again to make inch slits inch wide, then you are going to fold it in half, both long ways and short. Once you have all these steps, you're going to write your letters, just like you did on your box, onto the strips so you can match them. Now, to save time, I already have one done for you. I'm excited to share this with you. Here is my finished letter drop box. So as you can see, we have, hmm, what do you think that letter is? A, right. We have the letter A and you can match the color and simply drop it in. And when you're done and you want to retrieve all of your letters, you simply open the box and take them back out. Okay, so this is where the fun begins. I'm so excited to hear about all the games that you come up with. You now have your very own letter drop box. So you have lots of different fun games you can play to learn about your letters. You can match the colors, you can match the big letters, or you can flip it over and you can match the little letters too. If you want even more fun games to play, you can time yourself and do a speed test. How fast can you drop the letters? Or you could come up with another game. You could even do letter sounds. A, hmm, A, 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 apple, right? So then you can practice letter sounds too. Which game will you play first? Wow, we have done a lot in a short period of time. I am so proud of all of you. We have learned seven new words We've made a letter drop box. We've learned new games, and hopefully we've had some fun along the way. So, how could this game help you read and write? Well, turns out that when you are holding these letter strips, you are practicing the pinching motion that you will need to hold a pencil. So by playing this fun game, you're also strengthening your fingers so you can get better at writing and you are learning the basics of reading when you are recognizing the letters. Who knows, I bet the next time that I see you, you guys are going to be masters of words and letters. Until then, stay safe and happy learning. Okay. Are you still here? Do you want another game? Okay, well, when you are done with matching the colors, 
matching big letters, small letters, letter sounds, and testing your speed, there's one more thing you can do. You can look at the letter and brainstorm words. So this letter is A. Hmm. A. Apple. Alligator. Astronaut. Anything at all. This is actually a very fancy process. It is called alliteration. I know, that's a big word, isn't it? Alliteration. It basically means that you are taking the same letter sound, A, and you are repeating it in the beginning of each word. So that's one more thing that you can do to become a word and letter master. And in case your family's wondering, you can say, I am learning gold objectives. By playing with your letter box, you are identifying and naming letters. You're using letter sounds. And you're also using your fingers and hands, as well as writing and drawing tools. Okay, I think that's it for today. Until I see you next week, stay safe and happy learning.